Today we're going to look at how to add a stop to an indicator. So what I'm going to do, I have a custom order strategy here and I'm just going to use it. But you could do this if you've got an order you placed manually and you place the stop manually. It's all done the same way. So I'm going to place an order here. I'll sell to market. And you'll notice I have a profit taken here and I have my uh, stop loss set right here. What I want to do is I want to attach the stop loss to an indicator. Now I have several of them on here. I have moving averages. I have a, a ATR. And this is a moving average. I have several of them here. What I want to do is I want to put it on the ATR here. So I'm going to right click. And that flyout is going to come out. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to go to attach to indicator properties. And I'm going to put it on the ATR trail and stop indicator that I have, which is that right there. And if I wanted to offset it, let's say I wanted to set it above, I would use a positive number. If I want to set it below, I would use a negative number by a certain amount of ticks. But I'm just going to put it right on it. So watch this. And now as that ATR moves, this stop is going to move with it. I could have given the example on one of my moving averages here, but that wouldn't be possible because... The prices are in the moving averages right now, so it would throw an error if you were to try to attach it to a moving average in this situation, which you wouldn't want to do anyway. Uh, it's very important before you attach your stop to an indicator, you have to have the indicator on the chart first. So if this has helped, how about leaving a like, subscribe, leave a comment. You have a good day.